one uh, program and it was all clear. Um, so uh, there were no dockets that were given to me. I didn't appoint no minister anywhere. Everybody was appointed by the president of Kenya. And um, the difference maybe you could ask is between our first term and our second term. In our first term, granted, I played my role as deputy president. The president assigned me many responsibilities, which I discharged with distinction from where I sit. And that is why in our first term, we rolled out our plan to build the standard gauge railway. We have built 700 kilometers. I was part. Yes, William Samoerutu, during his address at Chantam House in London in March, Ruto confessed before the world that at no point did he take part in the appointment of the cabinet in Kenya. In fact, he argued that at all points or at all appointments were done by the president in line with the constitution and dismissed that half of the cabinet that he was the one who selected in fact, he is saying that after the appointment by the president, the half of the cabinet was given to him as per the Jubilee Coalition Agreement. So listen to Deputy President in this video denying that he never took part in the appointment of the cabinet in Kenya. One uh, program and it was all clear. Um, so uh, there were no dockets that were given to me. I didn't appoint no minister anywhere. Everybody was appointed by the president of Kenya. And um, the difference maybe you could ask is between our first term and our second term. In our first term, granted, I played my role as deputy president. The president assigned me many responsibilities, which I discharged with distinction from where I sit. And that is why, in our first term, we rolled out our plan to build the standard gauge railway. We have built 700 kilometers. I was part. So I think you have listened to the deputy president, William Samurutu while having a meeting in Chantam House in London. So, on Tuesday, July 11th, the Deputy President told Transoian residents that he was the one who appointed the Cabinet Secretary and the current Sec Cabinet Secretary of Defense, Eugene Wamalwa, to the cabinet. And he claimed that Wamalwa was languishing on the streets after the polls and he rescued by offering him a straight job. Funny enough, the Deputy President William Ruto is continuing to lie to the country live life. And this is something that is putting him on a limelight. Why is it that in Chantam House, in London, while attending the meeting there, William Ruto denied that he was not? Yet, Kenyans, you are just listening to Deputy President. The other time in Transoya, saying all those kinds of things. Ah, now, listen to Deputy President William Samuel Ruto. Telling Transoyans, live life, that he was the one who appointed Eugene Wamalwa. This is the video. 
au kumwambia waje mdomo mrefu bila mimi angekuwa anatembea barabarani mimi ndio nimemtoa kwa mtaro nikampatia kazi ya waziri awaje kuongea maneno mengi hapa sio kama tunaelewana serikali mimi ndio niliunda na uhuru Kenyatta huyo jamaa alikuwa anahangaika barabarani sasa hii hapo na mdomo kutoka hapa mpaka South Africa naongea unaongea mambo ya ndani wewe so that is the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya and the candidate who is vying for the presidential election in this upcoming 9th August general election with lies, pure lies, with evidence that is there that William Ruto is lying to the public life life. Furthermore, William Samuel Ruto did not end at that point. There is a video that Ali was circulating in media while having a meeting in his current home. Deputy President again is also on record telling the country that he is the one and others that interviewed Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiani. And of course, this is the video. So, you're not supposed to be there. Alafu Pia, Sasa Wajue Akwamba, Wame to Saidia, Kataka Ile Kazi, to look at Nataka, to Fanny. To Melavana, what one Akuru? Now, Najua, our what to water, see what to buy. Mimi, Niliket Chinna Rice, Kufania interview, who you Matiang. So, Eh, katika ile serikali mimi na rais tumejenga tukamwajiri kazi shida tu kidogo amepata ni kiburi kidogo imeongezeka na madharau hiyo akiwacha basi tunaweza tukuendelea mbele kama wakenya there is no problem so mimi sitaki kusema kuzi... so according to what i have seen ladies and gentlemen it is something that is very very shameful to our second in command deputy president william samaruto for continuing to lie for the country and even some people are just listening clapping for him appreciating for saying such words let me call them utterances because you are the second in command the deputy president of the republic of kenya vying for the highest seat coming every time every day Every day, every week, every month, every year, you continue to lie to the Republic. And in fact, this is something that has taken William Samaruto even to lie to the foreign countries. Why was William Ruto lying to the Chantham House in London that he never took part in the appointment of the cabinet secretaries in the government of Jubilee Party? Yet, last week and the other months, he has been seeing that he was the one. For example, he was the one who appointed Eugene Omalo as the cabinet secretary of irrigation. That he was the one who appointed and interviewed Fred Matiai. The same same person is denying that he never took part in the appointment of cabinet in the, in the government of Jubilee. So you have, you have seen the reality. That person that you, you are dealing with is a person that tomorrow will say today another word. How are you sure that Deputy President William Somaruto is going to do whatever is promising the country? What are these assurance and sure bet that is showing that William Ruto is going to put aside this 100 billion for youths for employment. How are you sure that Deputy President William Somaruto, after taking the government, after election, is going to unite and build bridges across the Republic of Kenya, across all these tribes that are in Kenya? How sure are you that William Somaruto is able to uphold peace and unity across the Republic of Kenya? Because that in record also in 207, when there was such a huge violence, 
post-violent election. William Samoruto did not agree for the handshake between Raila Odinga and Mwai Kibaki. The same same thing again repeated itself in, two, in 2017 after election where there was such a huge wrangle between Raila Odinga supporters and Uhuru supporters. Because Uhuru and Raila Odinga took the country first before putting their interest second, they saw that peace and unity was so much a paramount thing and a golden opportunity that they could have been given the country. But upon the explanation that Uhuru Kenyatta did to the, his deputy, William Ruto, William Ruto did not accept that. In fact, Uhuru Kenyatta reported to us that William Ruto told him that why are we having hardship yet we have the government? It means that William Ruto is saying that we can do whatever we want with the power as long as we have won this election. So it means that he's a person that does not advocate for unity, peace, and hardship. And this is the clearance that you are seeing in the public domain. And that is on a record for several times. So this relies that William Ruto is putting across the Republic of Kenya and also in foreign countries. He's now, he is now being exposed, live life. I know his supporters or anyone that is supporting William Samruto will say that I'm lying. But according to the videos that you have watched, this is the truth. William Ruto is lying to us. What are your thoughts? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I appreciate so much because of watching this video. Ensure that you subscribe if you're a visitor. Like this video. Put on the notification bell that when you upload our videos, you get notified. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to say thank you so much. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.